Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a free trial, uh, 14 days. It comes with education. There is uh, a link to the Bookmap educational course. Uh, there's access to the advanced order flow uh, webinars. Uh, those start in uh, about a half hour. Okay, so um, uh, we look at the uh, the live markets and uh, uh, understand the order flow and start to anticipate the price movement. Uh, this webinar instead is based on uh, a little bit of that, not not much. Um, we're looking at just the basics of Bookmap. Uh, there's a lot of new traders in here, so we're going to go through what Bookmap is showing you, uh, how to read it, uh, how to use some of the features. Uh, ask questions, and um, and then we'll get into uh, reading the uh, the basics of the order flow. Uh, the the concept here is that uh, the free webinar here uh, is uh, uh, for those that are new that and those in the advanced analysis webinar already have this background, uh, so they are more interested in really how to apply Bookmap to their trading. Uh, so we make the distinction between the two. Uh, therefore, you will need to either be in trial or a current customer. Okay. Um, the uh, bookmap.com, here's the website. Uh, let's go here. Uh, just scroll down. There's an intro video. Uh, and then uh, about bookmap, uh, you'll see these sections here. Uh, a little bit further down, uh, there's bookmap for equities. Okay. It's not just for futures. Uh, using the uh, NASDAQ total view uh, from Dev Experts. Uh, connectivity. Okay, we're we're a trading platform. We are not a data provider, so you will need um, uh, one of these uh, data providers here to connect Bookmap to the live markets. All right, um, and um, uh, pricing. Okay, so here's a 14-day trial period, uh, and this is where you can uh, give it a shot. So 49 per month for the basic, 99 per uh, month for the advanced. They are billed quarterly. Uh, and the only differences between any of these here are just uh, uh, more advanced features, okay? So, for example, uh, with the bookmap advanced, uh, you get the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart, all right? You also uh, get all of these add-on indicators uh, that are proprietary indicators we developed. One, for example, here, the large lot tracker is identifying larger players holding liquidity at specific price price levels. Uh, so we're not only starting to read the order flow, uh, but the, the players themselves, okay? Uh, who is the one that is providing that liquidity? Uh, the iceberg detector is very similar. Uh, however, this is about um, hidden orders, hidden liquidity that is getting filled, that is transacting, okay? So um, I, understanding where uh, larger players are placing these iceberg orders uh, and um, identifying them. Uh, then you can also see there are uh, some imbalance indicators and a correlation tracker. Okay, uh, quants, and we've had uh, some some uh, interest in uh, the quant versions lately, uh, hooking up with some quants, which is great. Uh, you'll have specific needs for your own data, uh, your proprietary indicators, etc. Okay, so uh, let us know and reach out to us and we'll come up with some sort of uh, solution for you. Okay, we work with several quants. All right, here's some of our partners and then uh, you, where you contact us here. Okay, uh, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at uh, bookmap underscore pro. Uh, get information, up-to-date information. Uh, let's see here, we can see uh, an image here uh, going through some details uh, in, uh, in bookmap. Uh, the uh, YouTube page here, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, there's intro videos to go through, features and components. This is a good place to start. Uh, and then order flow video snippets. Uh, these are great videos here. They're very short, but they go through the order flow phenomena uh, that we uh, witness uh, during the advanced order flow analysis, okay, during those webinars. Uh, and these are just uh, uh, snippets of some of that um, uh information that we go over in detail uh, in those webinars. All right. Okay. Well, uh, let's take a look here uh, at, in general, what's going on in price. Um, 
<laughs> a lot of a lot of volatility in oil here. Okay, so uh, maybe we'll we'll jump into crude again uh, and see what's going on there. Um, that might be a good one, uh, especially with the uh, correlation tracker, right? Because we can see the euro dollar is going up and crude is going down. All right, so uh, stock market indexes, you know, ju I'm just looking at the bigger picture, see what's moving uh, and where things are going. Uh, definitely some divergence between um, uh, the correlation here between the stock market um, of uh, uh, all of them here. Um, <laughs> they're all kind of doing something unique. Uh, but the NASDAQ is down. All right, it's up a little bit today, but it's big, big sell off yesterday. All right. Anyway, uh, maybe let's t let's jump into crude and take a look there. Uh, what's going on? Uh, and um, let's uh, open up some of these things and uh, and then we'll go through it. Uh, a question right off the bat. Okay, uh, Edson, uh, you bought Ninja Trader Lifetime. Uh, open an account. Um, yeah, you can. Um, there's you can use a uh, uh, book map uh, through the API in Ninja. All right. Uh, it would, and you're using uh, Rhythmic. Fantastic. I would recommend going directly through Rhythmic then. So power your Ninja uh, through Rhythmic as well as uh, your book map through Rhythmic. Uh, that's one of the benefits of Rhythmic. It offers multiple connectivity uh, to you know multiple platforms. Okay. Uh, you just there's several reasons why it's better to connect Bookmap directly, okay? Um, and uh, one of them is to bypass the API. Okay, so as I was mentioning here on the website, we are a data, uh, we're we are a true platform, okay? Just like Ninja, or just like TTX Trader Pro, or Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation, but we also connect via the API of these three platforms, okay? Uh, however. Uh, it is much better uh, to go directly uh, with a, um, uh, well, much better. It is better. It is cleaner. Uh, it is uh, 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 more consistent to go directly with the uh, data provider directly into Bookmap. Okay. Instead of going through the program uh, and then into Bookmap, right? So you can see that, uh, you know, the data has to be crunched vi via the program or the, 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 uh, a primary platform, and then it goes into Bookmap. So, you know, th there might be something that is, it's, it's the, basically it is the, the data is touched, all right? And uh, maybe they do something to it as well, right? Anyway, that's why I would recommend just going directly with Rhythmic, all right? Okay, well, let's take a look at Crude, and um, let's go through uh, what Bookmap is showing us here, all right? Um, because uh, for a lot of you, um, uh, I know that um, uh, you uh, uh, are looking at this chart here and probably never seen uh, anything like it before. And it looks like it's really complex here. It's really not. Uh, it, this is a very basic and objective view of the market. Um, and um, uh, like we have an indicator sub panel here showing the uh, cumulative volume delta. I'm going to close that up. Uh, and... Um, uh, we're just going to show, we're just looking at three elements here, okay? We're looking at historical best bid and offer. We're looking at the volume that traded on the historical best bid and offer with these dots. And then we're looking at the heat map here, which is, it, all it is, is a recording of the uh, depth of market, the dome. Okay, so it's showing you that action when we were here, for example, they were here on the uh, on the offer and they were here on the bid. Okay, and um, uh, that's what we're showing. Uh, it's just it's just the um, his, historical uh, uh, recording of the uh, of the dome. That that's it. All right. Now that's what allows us a tremendous insight to um, how traders are behaving at these specific uh, areas, and uh, uh, that's where uh, uh, we can really uh, start to utilize this tool because it gives us. Um, uh, transparency into the market. We we start to understand their behavior, right? So let's um we're going to start by uh, uh, looking at a candlestick chart and just um, covering uh, all of this different data here uh, and um, the significance of it and uh, and then how to start to read it. All right. So here's our candlestick chart. 
Okay, five minute candlestick chart of uh, of crude oil. Uh, we can see the uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, you know here's where the market opened and immediately uh, uh, it it sold off, but it just went kind of sideways since the cash opened at nine, right? And then just uh, here we can see the the uh, uh, real big drop here. Okay, uh, but there's some buyers in here too, right? And we can see that with the wicks. Okay, now that that ju just said that uh, alone, reading the wicks here, um, it's a dangerous uh, proposition uh, because although we can see that, uh, yeah, it looks like there's some buyers in here. Well, you know, uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe it's some uh, a lack of selling. Uh, maybe uh, we want to we want to understand where the volume took place. Uh, all of that information is not here. Okay, um, the um, uh, where it traded on this candlestick, um, and uh, how much traded, and what type. Okay, it was it aggressive buying or selling. Uh, all of that is uh, going to give us a lot of insight. Okay, uh, as well as understanding. You, you can see here with these candles that this is all aggregated with open, high, low, and close of a five-minute period. We have no clue about all these microstructural areas that occurred within this candlestick, okay? And just understanding that alone is going to give us a lot of insight, okay? And that's where we can look at the historical best bid and offer, okay? The uh, red line is the historical best offer, and historical best bid is the green line. Uh, and uh, we can start to see now there's no aggregation, and um, uh, it's just the um, – we can – start to look at microstructural areas okay and we can see how uh, price is reacting to those microstructural areas okay and that's that alone is a uh, is a big a big uh, bonus here okay uh, so for example uh this this area down here right well what what occurred here we can see the uh, the candles uh, we see some of the buying here well this this is just a a, a pullback and uh, a mild pullback, in fact. This is where we drop from here in the microstructure, okay? Um, and, uh, and it was a strong strong break to the downside. Well, the pullback uh, was about uh, less than half of the distance back up, or maybe about half, okay? Uh, and, uh, and then it, uh, it, it turned around, and it broke again, and it broke hard, okay? I, I can already see uh, a structural area here. As well, look at the swing low right here, and look how we came down, and look at how we we based back and forth just below that that swing. We breached it a couple times, uh, but the buying stepped in here, okay, just just now as we're doing this webinar, uh, and we can see that, right? And we're actually above this swing up here too, okay. So uh, some pretty interesting stuff happening at the moment, um, and. We're just looking at the microstructure, okay? But that's that's an advantage because uh, even a footprint chart is going to show you the volume, uh, where it traded, uh, and how much. But it's going to be on a on a candlestick, so you have no clue of the microstructure. This is key. Understand that this was breached here, and that we have a move to the upside now, okay? Uh, and um, uh, we can understand, uh, you know, where where. Uh, uh, traders are positioned within that microstructure, okay? And we're going to see that when we turn on the volume dots. And here we go, okay? So uh, uh, no uh, surprise here. We see the aggressive selling, okay? The red dots are um, uh, aggressive uh, market sells. Uh, green are aggressive market buys, all right? And uh, we can see what uh, where the volume traded within this five-minute period. Okay, so uh, for example, the majority of it traded down here. We can see it very clearly uh, within this within this candle. So on this wick, um, there's a, a, a tremendous amount of selling down here, and there's a little bit of buying that pulled it back up. Okay, this is offering that insight. Okay, although we do see the aggressive buyers pull pull price up a little bit, um, the majority traded down here. So if you're uh, looking at your candlestick and thinking, well, you know, this might be a, uh, a reversal, uh, uh, you would have it wrong. Uh, because, uh, you know, when we see more volume trading at a lower area, we usually get uh, a, a return back to that area and then price discovery uh, in that direction. And that's that's exactly what occurred here. All right. And um, 
uh, anyway, uh, th that's where uh, just the volume alone is giving you this kind of insight here, right? Let me zoom into this area because I want to show you just really what Bookmap is recording for you, okay? Uh, and um, uh, here's just really simple example, okay? There's nothing uh, uh, in particular that I, I want to go over here except that uh, let me get rid of all of our lines here so it's just easier to read. Okay. Uh, historical best bid is the green line. Historical best offer is the red. And then you see these dots. Okay. These dots are trades. These are transactions. Green dot is a market buy. Someone hit the market buy button. They crossed the spread. They took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay. They, uh, they want it in. And um, uh, they're the aggressor uh, because uh, uh, they're willing to pay up the spread. All right. And they take liquidity instead of wait. Uh, in line and provide liquidity. Okay, and the same here with the the red dots. Those are the aggressive market sells. All right, that's it. This really it's really straightforward. It's really simple. Um, you know, we can uh, uh, zoom into these levels and we can show you every single bit. Uh, you know, uh, of detail. Uh, this actually is uh, fascinating to see with the S and P. Uh, since crude is a lot thinner, uh, we're 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 not going to see that many transactions, but. Um, uh, anyway, note how, uh, uh, you know, I was down at uh, m uh, microsecond level, so millions of seconds, but note how as I zoom back out, I compress all of this um, time together, and the, all of this trading activity gets compressed, uh, and it will turn into a bigger dot, okay? And uh, so we get the understanding here with this pie display. It's showing us that there were many transactions here, and we can use this uh, data tip tool here, and it shows us how many trades took place, okay? In this big dot here, 830 contracts were traded. All right, and, uh, but we, we understand that uh, there was a little more selling than buying in this area here. We see the tremendous amount of selling all the way down here. Okay, this is, this is what um, uh, usually how we break to uh, new levels. Uh, in trading. This is called a sweep of the book, okay? This is covered in the educational course that comes along with the um, uh, with the book map trial, okay? Uh, it's, a, it's a really important thing to understand uh, because um, uh, n we know that uh, there are sellers here, okay? And uh, they are in control here at this area. They've swept the book. They've taken every single uh, level of liquidity in the book and they traded through it. Okay, so there's a tremendous amount of selling here. Uh, and um, uh, this is where we've, we've just dropped out of this other trading range uh, and we're in a new range. Okay, and we're gonna see it again here. We see it all the time, again and again. Uh, usually we get a pullback to where we broke from and indeed we did here, as you can see, okay. And uh, uh, we actually had a little bit, went up a little bit higher here uh, as well. Okay, and let's zoom out a little bit. But um, uh, that's as far as it went, uh, right right to this level here. Okay, and, um, uh, and then you can see that uh, there's not too many buyers here, not like before. Uh, and the sellers come in again here, and here's another sweep of the book, okay? And now we're down below this swing level and we return back to it here, as you can see. Uh, and then we see some sideways action here. All right. Anyway, uh, that's uh, an important concept to understand. Uh, sweeping of the book. Uh, and um, it's very uh, clearly illustrated here in book map. Uh, and then um, uh, we start to understand the order flow uh, and reaction uh, with uh, uh, to that sweep of the book. Uh, it's a no, don't know exactly what you mean by uh, direct negotiations. Maybe you can um, uh, define that a little bit for me, and I, I can answer that. Uh, the um, okay, so let me continue on. Um, and um, what we're covering here uh, so far has just been volume and historical best bid and offer in microstructure. Okay, but really the two elements are historical best bid and offer and volume. There's a whole nother side to the market. Where are they bidding and offering? Okay, usually well, we look to the current market to understand that. 
Okay, and we zoom in and uh, and we look at the column here. This is the dome. Okay, the uh, a depth of market. Here's our best bid and offer right here, and here's our depth on the offer and our depth on the bid. These are traders lined up at these areas wanting to buy it down here at these levels, and they're wanting to sell up at these levels. This is what makes the market, the people that are bidding and offering. Okay, it is uh, an auction, uh, and um, uh, we we use that uh, analogy here to explain a lot of the phenomena that occurs here in Bookmap, uh, because it, it it truly holds up. Um, uh, it, it and it's it's really what we're looking at is here in an auction, uh, and Bookmap uh, displays this. It's just displaying the data. Uh, it's just visualizing the data, but we can start to fit it into uh, uh, a model like uh, auction market theory, okay, and uh, and understand it really well. All right, so. Uh, this is our depth of market, and you can see here uh, the depth of market, uh, these numbers and this liquidity is always changing. People are always adding and pulling liquidity. You can see, you can watch how these numbers change. Okay, Problem with it, this is a, a great view because we can see where traders are lined up to trade. Problem with the dome, though, is when these numbers change, all of that data is lost. Okay, We don't know what happened there before, and this is where Bookmap uh, can be really helpful. Okay, because it will uh, record the uh, auction and then transpose it onto the chart historically. Okay, so this window here is the same as this uh, column over here. The only difference is that this is a graphical representation of the market, okay, of the uh, depth of market here. Okay, so really bright areas up here like at 5750, 139 contracts is bright white. Okay, 153 down here. Uh, at uh, uh, 5718 is uh, is bright white. Okay, these shades of gray. Uh, there's high liquidity, but it's uh, less than some of these other areas. So we know exactly where the market is being made and where larger players or larger areas of liquidity uh, are in this window. Where this gets uh, really interesting and insightful is we take this data and then transpose it onto the chart historically. Okay, so this auction that we just saw in this sweep of the book, okay, going through that concept again, they just swept the book above uh, this area here. Now we need to see if we accept or reject above this area, okay, uh, and see if buyers come in right here at 57.40 to press it up maybe into 57.50, the half figure up here, all right? We'll be looking for that. Um, and um, uh, the, uh, but note, note these little striations up here in these areas. This is the adding and pulling of liquidity. These, that's these numbers changing here. Okay. So over here, uh, if we hover over this area, we get the date, the time, and then what was on the ask here, 69 contracts. And then it got brighter. Okay. So it went from 69 contracts to 83, and then it got brighter again. It went up to 97 contracts and brighter yet. Okay. 111 contracts. And then they started to pull liquidity as well. Now we're starting to understand uh, the auction, and we're, we're starting to understand the intent of these traders at these levels. Do they want to trade or not? Do they, in this auction, as price approaches uh, them, uh, you know, are, are they willing to sell now or not, or do they pull? Okay, this guy just pulled. Note how they just pulled right when price was coming up here. All right, so uh, that's how we can start to understand the intent of these traders here. And we can gauge the intent way back here. I mean, we can see that they're adding and pulling and and, and not really showing a lot of intent uh, to trade, okay? So this was kind of suspect just from the, from the beginning by understanding this behavior here, okay? Tremendous insights from, uh, from reading this and starting to understand the auction, okay? Now, if we, when we start to combine that, uh, with the uh, the transactions and structure, uh, we we uh, are looking at the full um, uh, continuous like uh, uh, piece here of uh, of the order flow in the market, right? So historical best bid and offer, which gives us that uh, microstructure. Okay, uh, the transactions that take place there gives us the um, uh, understanding where traders are are positioning themselves. Okay, and then where they're um, willing to uh, to buy and sell gives us the uh, the auction here. 
all right, an understanding of that auction, okay? So, for example, uh, our little move that we just noted here, okay, uh, the sweep of the book, the aggressive buying that took place here, okay? We always look for this, like a pullback right to where it initiated from, all right? And uh, and then look at how they uh, they got very aggressive here on the uh, on the bid, okay? They, they want to be buyers uh, clamoring uh, here. I want to buy uh, with um, uh, over over 100 contracts here uh, in this area. All right, I'm looking down here in the bottom left, and it gives me the same as the data tip tool. It says uh, the date, the time, and then on the bid, 111 contracts. All right? And um, so all of a sudden, a lot of buyers show up at this level. Well, we rotate higher uh, and, uh, and try to find these guys, and they pulled. Right, so uh, we uh, we were looking for uh, 57.50 to get tested. Okay, we haven't gotten there yet, uh, but um, uh, and we're starting to see some sellers come in here in this area here. Note the little cluster of selling. Okay, so we're just kind of going sideways at the moment, uh, but uh, note the little sweep up above here as well. Okay, uh, look at the uh, uh, the buying that took place, and we came up to and made a new higher high here. All right, this isn't very significant, but we do see that action. This is fact. All right, so uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe uh, this isn't much of a breakout, so maybe the buying pressure is starting to wane. All right, uh, but uh, uh, it still looks like uh, this uh, 5750 uh, is uh, on the table as a target here. But uh, uh, we'll see if the buyers uh, step it up here. All right. Uh, Edson, get back to your question uh, about direct negotiations. Um, well, this, this is data um, uh, coming directly from the data provider that should be right from the CME, okay? However, they get their data from the data provider, okay? So um, uh, that's what's being displayed here uh, in Bookmap. All right. So um, that's where, you know, some traders get very specific about their types of data uh, that they're interested in. Um, and um, uh, it's really it's really up to you uh, which uh, data provider you uh, prefer, uh, et cetera. All right. OK, well, note, note again, this guy here pulled again at uh, at uh, at 47. 5747. Okay. Okay, so the target is still up here at 5750. We just need a little more buying pressure to step in here. Uh and um and we'll come right up to it. Okay, looking for those aggressive buyers. Um all right, well uh, that uh let's call it uh uh, a day here, uh, and uh, uh, for those of you in trial, uh, we will jump to the next uh, webinar, and uh, we'll see you there, okay? All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.